This one works a little bit different because it works uh, with a resource pool and operations manager. Um, you can assign, um, uh, there is one resource pool to which you can assign multiple or just a single management server if you like to, and then it will start monitoring your VMware environment. The first thing you do is make a connection to your vCenter server, and you can have multiple vCenter servers if you like. And you do the same as in the Oracle console. So basically you check the connection, just click that, and before you, um, you know, it says connected successfully with the username dev center uh, or demo v center and, and your password. So once you've done that, then it will start discovering all the uh, components. And of course, it starts off with your data center. Well, we have a class model here for your data center. So we have two data centers in our test environment, which are the Contoso DC and Tosoko DC. And we can see, well, one of our ESX servers is in a critical state. So if you go to that view, ESX hosts, we can see that, well, the last two are in a critical state. And if we go to the alarm view, for instance, then we can see that this particular server has lost network connectivity, and that's already 62 days old. So uh, I guess it's been offline for a while now. <coughs> So the same goes for um, the, uh, the vCenter server connection and also your VMs, so your virtual machines. And the same thing we'll do with a performance dashboard for um, your VMware server, or your, uh, sorry, for uh, all your performance counters in, uh, in, the, in the dashboard. Okay, so that was the quick demo for SCOM.